All right, guys, Richard here. So this is uh, my third video for this trip. Um, wasn't really planning on a three-part video. Wasn't sure what I was doing today, but um, yeah, I think I'll just post it as a three-part video. Um, for those of you who are super bored and just want to follow along. So if you missed part one and part two, part one was pretty uneventful. Uh, talked about... I um, don't remember what I talked about in that first video, but it was nice. It was a really nice ride where we ended up. And then we started part two and uh, saw a huge alligator that I tried to get on camera, but he dove down into the water before I could get my phone out and, and get a good video of that. So I don't have that to show you. And then shortly after that, we had a Toby accident. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. We had, a, we had an accident with the Toby trailer. Not caused by me. No. No, I'm not the one that got us in trouble. Nope. So, if you didn't see that, you might want to go check out part two. Checked out the... Uh... Right. I've never really looked for damage. Maybe I should do that. I'm going to stop right here. I know there's damage. I saw it, but... Maybe I should have taken a little closer look. I was in the middle of the street, though, so I was more uh, wanting just to get Toby into the trailer and get him secured and get out of the road. And but maybe I should have stopped and paid closer attention. So, yeah, what do we have here? So Toby is now locked up inside here with his screen. I'm pretty sure he's too short to get out of this because it's a tall one. This is for large dogs, and he's a small dog, so I don't think he can get out from here. But, uh, yeah, a little damage there. Tore that up. And, yep, we tore it up here. You can see that. And right here we got a hole now. And we got this big old hole right here. It's all tore up. And looks like down here in the bottom, it's all ripped up now. We got a hole right here in the mesh that's small. So... Yeah, you just got to remember that no matter how uh, well we think we know someone, uh, they can be unpredictable. And Toby um, acted in a way that he's never acted before, so it's got me a little concerned. <sighs> All right, let's get going. We're headed back to the house now. We're a little ways off, we're several miles away, so we're just going to keep on cruising, take him home, and reevaluate, you know, how we do things with Toby, I guess. So part one and part two of this video, it wasn't planned that way. Uh, I mentioned just how nice the weather is, so if you missed it and you didn't watch those two videos, it is a gorgeous day today. It's like 82 degrees, so it's almost like the heat finally broke, and we no longer have those 110, 115 heat indexes, so the weather is super nice, and the air is mostly dry. It's not real humid, so we're enjoying that. So... I was out thinking, yeah, it's going to be really nice to get Toby out on a longer ride because it's not too hot for him. He can handle it. And then he goes off and does something dumb like that. Oh, but anyway, we're about to hit a busier street. This was not part of the plan, going this route. We actually came a different route and we didn't really know where we were going. This is kind of where we ended up, but... So this is a little busier of a road. We're gonna have to cross the street. We're gonna have to cross the street and get on the sidewalk on the far side, maybe. I don't know, maybe we'll stick to the sidewalk on this side for a little while. Yeah. And then it's a holiday, Labor Day. Traffic isn't too bad. People aren't going to and from work, but they are probably going to and from the beach, enjoying themselves. Good. This 
was actually probably the best spot for me to cross. I don't know. No, there's another spot down here. This is a big neighborhood, so maybe this is better. So we can cross right now. We're right here. And we'll go further down. Get away from this neighborhood entrance. And then we'll cross over. I'm not sure what to talk about now. I had a lot to say during uh, the first video. The second video turned out to be very eventful. And now it's like, you know, now I just want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home and drop this crazy animal off and then maybe go back out. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... This little neighborhood here isn't as busy, so this intersection isn't as busy, so I think we can cross here. Once traffic is clear... Well, no, I can't either. I can't because we have turning lanes with an island in the middle, so I really can't get across there too well. So, when they get on this sidewalk, they're going to swing wide. We get the Toby trailer up here. And then swing, cut back again. I don't know. We'll figure it out. This intersection up here is really bad. There's there's accidents here every couple of days at this intersection. It's just, I don't know, it's crazy. So I am not going to try to cross the road here. Unless they have a uh, crossing. Oh, they might on this side. We have a crosswalk and a control light, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, we can make this work. <coughs> There's the button. <coughs> yeah, we'll see if we can get across here safely. Anyway, I was trying to cross and uh, a lady was making a, a right turn on red and she didn't even slow down. And the light had just turned for me so I could use the crosswalk. And as just as I was starting out and I came off the curb, she came flying around. It almost hit me. And then as I continued riding to the other side, I saw a vehicle coming in the far lane. He was in the turning lane. There's a truck pulling a boat. And right about here, I hit my brakes because it looked like he wasn't going to stop. So, he stopped finally. He saw me and he stopped in time, but he's going pretty fast. But it's just dangerous. Everywhere you go, it's dangerous. I don't know. Let's go up here and avoid this guy. We can go right up the sidewalk. This bank is closed. Yeah. Alright. I think we're going to jump out here into the turning lane. guy in the sidewalk down there this road isn't too uh, too busy so we're just gonna go down the street so kind of a roundabout way to get there huh squeeze past you actually I'm, I can actually I can go right here I can go right here there we go hey improvising 
do what you have to do. There wasn't enough room for me to squeeze up there on the sidewalk with a Toby trailer and so it was better just to go around. Oh, ouch. Man. A lot of trash and debris right there that didn't used to be there. Oh boy, so here we have the uh, this section that's been closed for weeks. Doesn't look like they've made any progress on it. So, yeah. So we're going to have to drop off this right here. Toby and I are going to tra traverse the, uh, the gravel. Hold on there, buddy. Uh, there we go. I'm not taking him out there into that little skinny bike lane. No one's working today, so we're just going to go through here. Find a way to get around this mess. Can't exactly get up on the other side over here now, can we? I'm going to have to get in the street. But just for a short distance there. Anyone coming? No one coming. Alright, so we're going to get out here. That works. Alright. Another mile and a half or so. We'll be done with this video. Done with this boring ride. Not too boring, I guess, huh? So, I heard just yesterday I heard it and then I saw the the announcement and some building plans. But back in the other direction where I've ridden many times in some of my videos, uh, they've decided that they're going to build a marina. So it's going to be at least one hotel, maybe two, a uh, restaurant or two, uh, a marina for, was it a 80 or 100 boats? So 80 to 100 slips. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Probably a park. So this little rural area that we live in is no longer rural. It's getting built up quickly. And I'll say it again, progress is supposed to be good, right? Yeah. I'm trying to be positive about it. Anyway, well, I'll tell you what, guys. If this is a boring video, give me a thumbs up so I know how boring it was. Because this one was rather uneventful, and I'm just not in the mindset to be talking too much now after those first two videos and after that last little incident there with Toby. So I'm going to end this video here and call it a day. So. If you have any questions, drop them down, down below. And until the next video, you guys ride safe.